Yeah. So uh, Patrick asks, he, he says he's thinking about doing some coding series tutorials on YouTube. Um, you know, I think that's valuable. Uh, we were just speaking about how, um, how can you share your work? And one of those, a way to do that is through YouTube. And whether that be like a dev vlog or a tutorial, um, I would suggest if you're going to do a tutorial, that's supposed to be educational content or, and what is it? Edu edutainment? Edutainment. <laughs> yuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of what I do, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I highly suggest. It's the name though. The name I know. I hate it too. <laughs> I highly suggest uh, scripting it out um, and doing your research uh, because you just don't want to, I mean, this, come on, this should be obvious. You don't want to spread misinformation. Also, uh, when it comes to tutorials, I guess if it's, you're going to do a coding series, um, I would think through, um, you know, trying, trying to get a little depth. I think a, a topic like coding and programming um, requires a little bit of depth that I think is lacking sometimes on, on YouTube. Uh, you get a lot of surface level stuff. Uh, yeah, and, and on that note, just just please to anybody out there who wants to make video content, I know this may sound silly, but do your homework. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, so I like to consider, I know a lot of the topics I talk about because I do them on a daily basis and have done for 10, 12 years. Mm -hmm. But even still, when I write a blog post or when I go and talk about a topic, like Q&A is a bit tougher because it's a bit off the cuff. Whenever I do anything that I'm kind of committing as terms of like a video or Q&A or I actually make a lot of tutorial content kind of privately for clients and stuff as opposed to public stuff, I will go and Google it first. I will double check and make sure I know what I'm talking about, make sure I'm not wrong about certain things. Uh, like, for example, I, I completely messed up in the previous video and I accidentally said a double when I meant decibel when I talked mm. about what type you should use for currencies and say Because I was basically trying to say, don't use a floating point number. And there's different degrees of floating, but I don't get a whole day. Anyway, my point is do your research. If you're going to do video content, uh, don't just assume, don't do it like, here's the way I do it. If you're going to actually like make yourself a um, kind of, if you're going to put yourself out there as an educator on a topic, take the couple of days it takes to Google it and make sure that your, that your opinion on the matter lines up with what the general consensus is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you shouldn't be afraid to, to express your opinion, but um, you know, at the same time, you just, you want to make sure you're backing that up with, you know, good source material, knowledge and research. So definitely every video that I do, I research it heavily. I give it to Jason. Jason says, what the heck is this? And I have to go back and redo the whole damn thing. So, you know, just take your time with it. Only about half the time. Yeah. Half the time, it's perfect. <laughs> I have that on, uh, on recording now. <laughs> half the time, I'm perfect. It's good enough for me. <laughs> Um, yeah, so basically if you're going to make some video content, you know, I just definitely wouldn't suggest, uh, half-assing it. Make sure you do your research. Uh, as far as workflow, you know, uh, I think that's something that if you're not someone who produces videos regularly for your day job, you're just going to have, that's going to have to be something you learn on the job. Um, I learn on the job. If you go back and look at some of my earliest videos, some of which are unlisted now, you will see a very horrible on camera, camera presence and i still don't have the best on camera presence you know but i'm learning i'm still learning about lighting i'm learning about sound uh how to set up your camera um for me what worked was just going ahead going ahead and doing it and uh taking criticism and learning from that so as far as workflow goes try to automate as much as you can learn as you go don't be afraid to change your process i still change my process to this day in fact i just learned a new thing about uh uh, how to do dynamic um, links be between After Effects and Premiere Pro. I'd always done that, but there's a really cool way that I, I'm doing it now. So it really streamlines my my workflow. But I've been doing this for three years and I just discovered that. And it's like cut off 30 minutes for my whole editing process. So the point is you're going to learn. Don't be afraid. Just go for it and you'll, you'll figure it out.